In other election headlines tonight, radical Dem Stacey Abrams has ended her bid for uh, the governorship of Georgia. At her press conference today, she said she didn't want to hold public office if she needed to scheme her way into the post. Republican Brian Kemp is, will now become the 83rd governor of Georgia. Uh, Abrams not conceding, but rather simply accepting her fate. Uh, joining us tonight to talk about those Florida recounts and uh, all of the midterm election results, uh, Blaze Angolia. He's the chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. Blaze, it's good to talk with you. Uh, and uh, to ask you, where are we with these races? Uh, hand counts, recounts? I, I mean, you know, Palm Beach County and, and Broward County have done it again. Yeah, they have. Um, but at the end of the day, when everything is said and done, we, we are going to have Governor Ron DeSantis, and we are extremely happy about that. That race should be certified later on next week. And although we still have the manual uh, hand recount going on right now in the U.S. Senate race, there's not enough votes to overturn that. Uh, so we will have Rick Scott be the next U.S. Senator from the great state of Florida. I, I love the language that grows up around these, uh, these, uh, if you will, controversial election results, tight election results. Everyone talking about now in Florida in the case between uh, uh, Nelson and Scott, uh, that it's, uh, Scott is now outside the margin of fraud. Uh, how confident are you on a scale of 1 to 10 that that is indeed uh, out of the, uh, the margin of fraud and that Scott will be uh, the senator? Well, I think the margin of incompetence in Broward County and in Palm Beach County is just astounding. And I think we have a lot of um, a lot of fixing to do in those counties when this election is over. Supervisor Snipes in Broward County, Supervisor Booker in Palm Beach County right. clearly have to go. Um, and, you know, and I know people are calling on Republicans to sort of like get them out of office. But why does that fall upon Republicans to get them out of office? Democrats need to start mm -hmm. taking responsibility. The chairs of both of those counties in Palm Beach and Broward County, Broward counties should come out publicly and ask them both to resign their positions because Democrats need to prove yeah. to everyone that they cannot and will not stand up for this incompetence any I longer. I think you will acknowledge that it's time for the Republicans nationwide, not just in Florida, but nationwide, to take responsibility for making sure that the Democrats are doing the right thing. Their instincts are not always the best, uh, and they have to be guided in that regard. And and as you have demonstrated uh, uh, as uh, chairman of the Florida Republican Party, you know how to do that by winning. I, I want to point out uh, that Blaze is by, I want to point out two things, if I may. You're the most successful uh, chairman uh, in the Republican Party history in that state. Uh, and the second thing I want to point out is you're also the fellow who told me on the night before the election in, uh, in November uh, how it was going to go in Florida for one Donald J. Trump. Uh, when yes. all of the country was expecting overwhelmingly a Democratic victory, you laid out what was going to happen in the state of Florida. And I mean, to this point, Blaze, I tell people that story. Uh, it was a remarkable call on your part. And the same thing happened this year with the pollsters. They got it wrong also. Right. Everyone was predicting a Gillum win. They were wrong again. Well, you will admit it was a little close. Uh, it was a little bit closer than we would like, but, you know, uh, hey, it's great to be the chairman in the Republican Party of Florida. I got to win the governor's race twice and the U.S. Senate race three times in the same elections. <laughs> it's a good time to be the chair of the Florida GOP. And as I'm sure the president has pointed out to you, you, you did pretty good work in 2016 as well.